GarageBand is a free digital audio workstation and music recording app for iOS on iPhone and iPad. In this video, we'll cover setting up a new GarageBand project to make music. Before getting started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future GarageBand and home recording videos. GarageBand comes pre-installed on iPhone and iPad devices, but if you're missing it or it was uninstalled, you can download and install it for free from the iOS App Store. Once installed, launch the GarageBand app. You'll be asked to give the app permission to access your microphone, which I would recommend. From the main start screen, we'll get all the different types of tracks we can create with GarageBand. We'll get a lot of different instruments like keyboards and synths, drums, amps for direct guitar recording, audio recording, bass guitar, and guitar. Select any of these to create your first track. I'll just start with an acoustic drum kit to make things easier. We'll cover the different instruments in more detail later, but for now, we just need a track created to set up our project. Along the top, we can see some basic tools. The arrow at the top left lets us select a drop down. The top button is for My Songs, which brings us to the file system on our device to change the project we're working on. Below that, with the drums, it shows SoCal, which is the default acoustic drum instrument, and this is where we can choose what drum kit or other instrument is assigned to the track. The button to the right with the three squares brings up our track selector and it's used to create a new track with a different instrument. Keep in mind that when creating a new track, it will only add it to our tracks view if there's content on it. We can create a track and then not add any audio or MIDI, and it won't always be added if we exit out. The button with what looks like three volume faders is for the track settings and mixing tools. In the middle, there's the project transport. The first button brings us back to the start, the play button plays the song, and the red circle starts recording. The metronome button gives us the option to turn on and off the metronome for playback and recording. The gear on the right is the project settings. Clicking this gives us a drop down with more tools. The metronome and count in button gives us an additional menu which we can use to toggle the count in and visual count in. We can also change the click tone and the metronome level. Below, we have the Tempo, Time Signature, Key Signature, and Time Rule tool. At the bottom, we have the Fade Out tool to fade out the end of the song. We also have the Notepad to jot down notes. Jam Session allows us to link the GarageBand session on this device to other devices on our network. Advanced Settings can enable multi-track recording, 24-bit audio resolution, run in background, and some tools to use Bluetooth MIDI devices and send MIDI clock to other apps or devices. When we're creating a project, we need to make some adjustments to the timeline. When we start a project, we get 8 bars for our timeline. We can adjust the sections and timeline with the plus button in the top right of the timeline. The timeline in GarageBand is broken down into sections which can represent different parts of the song with different lengths. They can be duplicated and copied and pasted to different sections of the song to lengthen it. To get more sections, press the Add button. You can rearrange these sessions and adjust their lengths. When we're recording later on, we'll be recording and editing one section at a time. That covers how to start a project and get it set up with GarageBand iOS. In the next videos, we'll look at how to use some of the instruments in GarageBand to create some sounds. Thanks for checking out this video on setting up the project in GarageBand iOS. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. 
You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.